Uh, here we go. Here we go. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, today, uh, honestly, I don't have no pen and paper that like everybody else do or no notes. Um, I'm just going off the top of the dome. Uh, let's get into simps. Simp behavior. Uh, some simp behavior is, uh, so, okay, some of you might still deal with women, which is fine because I still deal with them, but I deal, to, I deal with them on a uh, strictly fuck. Uh, pump and dump uh, basis. There's no sleeping at my house. Um, there's no none of that. So, some uh, classic simp behavior is you text a girl, "Hey, what's up?" And she don't. She women intentionally don't will not text you back for about three, four, two, three, four hours just to see what you're gonna do because they already texting uh, five, six, seven other dudes. You never dealing with women. You never the only one. I promise you. Uh, you never the only one. So. Uh, some simp behavior is, like I said, texting, hey, what's up? Or, hey, how's it going? Never text a bitch good morning. Good morning? That shit boring. Um, text a, hey, what's up? What are you up to? As soon as she get that second text, she's going to realize, hey, she's going to put you in a thirsty-ass category. So she's not going to fuck with you uh, for a long ass, for probably never. Um, the next uh, simp uh, behavior is... Hey, let's go out, you know, uh, using one female validation. Let's go out to dinner. Um, and of course, you're not going to say no. Some women just say no because they don't want to be bothered with you. But they, you would take them out to dinner. Um, think you're having a good time vibing. And uh, you pay for the dinner. And you think you go, you, you think you're about to smash or fuck or bring them back to your place. But it's not going to happen. She's going to give your, your dumb ass a pat on the back. And maybe a kiss on the cheek. And she gonna go right home and go fuck the other dude that she waiting on. Or the dude that's really ignoring her. Um, so do not pay for no fucking dinners. Don't pay for nothing. What I, if you still want to deal with women. Because I still do. Like I said, I'm not a hypocrite. Um, uh, you got to invite her out to a coffee date. Say, hey, let's go meet up for coffee. Uh, do not pick this bitch up. Don't use, no, don't use none of your resources of gas. You don't use no, no, none financially, no money, no nothing. Meet her at the nearest Starbucks, because what women don't like Starbucks, especially if you deal with white women. Say, hey, let's meet, let's uh, go on, uh, meet her for coffee one day. You set a date. After you set a date, um, you know, say, okay, today is what, uh, Tuesday? Say you set it for Friday. You set the date for Friday, and, uh, you know, don't text her or, Call her or nothing like that. Hey, baby, good morning. Hey, none of that. Just wait till Friday. Wait till or the day of a Thursday night and say, hey, we, uh, you know, uh, don't say, hey, we are we still on for uh, coffee? Because that's some simp, weak-ass behavior. You got to say, uh, let me think. Let me think of the type of shit I use. Uh, do you like Frappuccinos or hot chocolate? You know, just to kind of remind her, if she, if she give you the, oh, I like Frappuccinos or whatever, you know, or, uh, you know, hot, hot chocolate, if she don't res really, really respond back, or she don't respond back at all, then you know uh, it's a no-go. She ain't going to want to, she don't want to meet up, which is cool. But if she do, say, okay, hey, you know, she, she the women, when they want to, when they want to be in your uh, circle or your area, your atmosphere, they not going to forget no date. I promise you, they not going to forget to meet up. So... When the Friday comes, you know, you drive to, to uh, what I do, I drive to Starbucks or whatever. I get my shit first. I'm going to get my coffee. I'm going to buy my coffee. I'm going to get that before her or I'm going to get that after her. And uh, just so I don't have to pay for her shit. I don't care if the Frappuccino, five, six dollars, three, four dollars. Nah, nah. Do not simp. Do not simp. Don't be a simp. Don't pay anything for, the, for any woman. I don't care how fine she looks. Please don't. Do not spend any money on a woman period especially if you're just getting to know the, the chick and it's a first date second date that you know don't do that because women go see that's a weak behavior if if i got a female that's gonna buy me something say she buy me some shit for christmas and i don't get her nothing i'm be, in my head i'm gonna think okay i can get more out of this chick so i'm gonna say hey bring me some food bring me you know, a video, you know, bring me all type of shit. That's how women think. They test men like that. That's how women test men, I promise you. Um, I'll give you an example. I went on a coffee date uh, about three months ago. Uh, met this this good-looking girl. She was educated. Um, and uh, 
we met at Starbucks and uh, I'm in line. We get there at the same time. And I'm like, damn, I'm trying to get there before you or after you. So we in line. And uh, I'm like, uh, can I get a, a hot chocolate? Because that was like 2 $3. I, ain't, I really don't want to spend it. I just want to get, get the, you know, chit chat and try to get it back to my place. So I get a little hot chocolate, a little whipped cream, extra whipped cream. And I just pay for my shit. And then she's sitting there like, uh. Uh, like, yeah, uh, bitch, you gonna pay for your shit. Like, what the fuck, what the fuck you think this is? I ain't paying for shit. So, uh, you know, she, she swipe and pay for her shit. We have a little chit chat and, uh, you know, give her a hug and a kiss. Uh, left. See, I only spent two, three dollars. So whether she called me back or not, I spent my money. I got my cappuccino, my, or excuse me, my hot chocolate. She got whatever the fuck she wanted. So she, if a woman really interested, you don't have to buy her. You don't have to spend no money on her. I promise you. Do not spend money. I've spent hundreds of dollars. Thousands. Of, I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to be the first one. I was a super simp because that's how I was raised. I was raised in two-parent uh, household growing up. And, uh, you know, I was taught to, you know, cater to the woman, respect the woman, which I do. Uh, but don't be a simp. Don't don't buy these women nothing, especially if they're not your, if they're not your wife or you haven't been with this woman for a while. Don't don't buy her nothing, man. Uh, shout out to the Blackhawks. <laughs> uh, so anyway, back to the story. Uh, she bought her call. She bought her frappuccino. Bought my hot chocolate. We chatted. Gave her a hug. See you later. Whether she coming back or not, I wouldn't give a shit, you know. But she she hit me back. Uh, you know, later that night and said, "Hey, I had a good time with you." Yada yada yada. I said, "Okay, cool. Thanks." You know. She like uh. So I, I took that upon myself. Okay, you know, when a woman texts you back, hey, when you free to get together? Uh, next week or you know when 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 next time you're free, she gonna let you know. Hey, I'm free this day, this day, or this day, or after this time. If she don't let you know, like uh, or she don't text you back, or she say uh, maybe I gotta see next week, or something might be going on. That's a lie, cause women don't got that much going on. All they do is fucking sit on social media, or just or just sit uh, or bullshit. They probably work part time anyway and still live with their parents, um, or whoever. Uh, it's only forty hours in a work week. It's, it's over, it's so many hours that do, during the week. So, uh, like I said, she gonna put you in her, her orbit. Um, she gonna let you know what, was she free? And, uh, you say, Hey, okay, cool. Let's, uh, if you, if you feel a free, if you want to, you know, invite her somewhere else, she gonna be looking for that dinner probably, but you gotta, you know, invite her to Denny's. They got a, a, a cheap ass menu and you pay for your, like I said, you pay for your shit. Your shit only. She, women respect you more. They, if a woman really wants to like you, or wants to be with you, or wants to be around you, you won't have to buy her. You will not have to buy her anything. She just will. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it, in my case, I invite her. You know, oh, you can come over to my place. I'll cook dinner. You know what I'm saying? I cook some chicken. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm cook chicken. I'm gonna cook. Uh, I'm gonna buy some shit from the store. I'm gonna I'm cook. I'm gonna throw a pizza that I already got in there. In there. That's that's. Three, four, five dollars from Walmart or something. Throw a piece in there, boom. Um, I'm gonna cut that bitch down the middle. She gonna have her shit. I'm gonna eat my shit. I'm gonna get some uh, fucking ninety nine cent pop or something. We gonna chill, watch a movie, and I'm gonna you know work my magic. I'm gonna smash. You see what I'm saying? So you you ultimately spent about seven, eight dollars. Make sure you have condoms because these women are, are ruthless. And that's to, that's for another story, uh, another segment. Uh, I'm a, a title. I'm gonna get that uh, content together. Always wear condoms and make sure you throw them out. Uh, excuse me. Make sure you flush them down the toilet. But back to what I was saying. You know, you invite over, you hang out, you uh, you know, you vibe. You know, cause when when a woman come over your place, what you think she gonna just uh watch a movie and lay in your bed or just watch a movie and go home? No. You know, you got another thing. You have to have your own place. And if you don't, some people, some women still fuck you. But your your chance of getting pussy is is gonna go through the roof if you have your own place um, and you really independent. Cause women respect men like that. Uh, so I invite her over. We hung out, vibe. I smashed uh, a couple times that night, and uh, you know, she left. Everything was cool. I didn't I didn't I ignored her for about I didn't text her or nothing like that for another couple of days. And then she hit me back, boom, and I just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Then, uh, you know, if if you really feeling her, if you really feeling her, you think she probably won, uh, you dumbass blue pillars, some of you purple pillars, but, you, you know, you can, uh, 
go to a Chili's or a Red Lobster. You know, no, I don't do Red Lobster. You, you, you can go to a decent restaurant, you know, for some tacos or something like that. But make sure, make sure she paying for her shit. You pay for your shit. Do not be a simp. That's the title of this, that's the title of this, is, of this video. Don't be a simp. Do not simp. Do not pay anything for a woman. Because she going to see that shit as weakness. I promise you. You think you being a man. You think, oh yeah, I got it like that. I'm going to try to impress her and shit. No, nah, she want to be with you. She want to be around you. Hey, and it's mutual. For you blue pills and purple pillars, cool. You know, she going to come around. You don't have to pay for no shit like that. She going to start, you know, buying shit for you. You know, she going she gonna to grow, uh, grow attached to you. So, like I said, uh, you, you know, don't be a simp. Don't pay for no trips. Uh, Valentine's Day coming up. Don't do none of that shit. Um... You got Just For Me Day. You got all type of fucking holidays and, and, and shit for women. Don't be a simp. Don't get them shit. You give them dick and send them on their fucking way. Peace.